Okay, today we're going to look at Pure Cloud Engage. This is the Pure Cloud Engage Contact Center from Interactive Intelligence based on the Pure Cloud platform. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to log in as the user. Okay, so I've logged in through the web page. I'm using my WebRTC client. There's actually no hard phone involved. What I'm going to do here is this is my profile, Lionel Lemon. And if I go to my profile here, you'll see that I'm currently available and I'm not actually logged into any queues. In the top right hand corner, you actually see that I'm off queue. Now, if you're a contact center agent, you're either on queue or off queue. If I turn this to on queue and go back to my presence, you'll see that it currently shows on queue. If I change myself to any one of these availability modes, it actually takes me off queue. So say I'm busy or I stepped away or I'm taking a break and now I'm off queue and I'm no longer available. So for me to log in, all I have to do is click on the in queue. And now I'm available for calls. The other thing I can do here is if I click on my profile, you can see activate queues. So when I click on activate queues, it'll actually show you what queues I'm currently working in. So I'm working in sales and internet sales. If I only was supposed to log into sales today, I can minimize that, hit submit, and I'm only belonging to the sales queue. So when I'm ready to take a call, I log in and now I'm available for calls. So any interactions that come in show up on the left hand side and I'll get an alert. If I wanted to make an outbound call, I can click on the plus sign here. And what it's going to do, it's going to ask me to make a call on behalf. So I can make a call on behalf of a queue or a certain number. And the number is based on what is assigned to the contact center. So if I wanted to post a different outbound, so I'm, I'm making outbound calls because I've subcontracted my services for another organization and I want that organization's name and number to show. I can say, I'm going to call out on behalf of, let's call it sales. And sales has a different outbound number. And then I can actually either dial, put the number in here, or I can actually go in and open up the keypad, the dial pad. And let's just say I'm going to call my cell phone. And then once that's ready, and I hit dial, and now I'm going to make an outbound call on behalf of that queue. What you hear in the background is, you can't hear, but my cell phone is actually ringing. Okay, we'll hang that up. So that is an outbound contact center queue, and what I'll actually have it asked me to do is, I can actually select a wrap-up code. What did I wanted to do or what this call was uh, regarding? So let's just say that that person asked for directions and I hit done and now my interaction is over. Now on the opposite side, if somebody's actually calling into the queue and I'm available, then I'll make an inbound call now. So I press the sales queue. And now what you see is I actually get a notification that I have an inbound call coming at the agent interaction here and the ability to answer it. So I'm going to answer this. Oh, and I missed it. So what happened was I didn't get to that call fast enough. So what it actually says is you're not responding. So you're kind of in make busy mode and it's asking you to make yourself eligible to go back into the queue or go off queue. I'm going to make myself eligible and then I'm going to answer that call. Okay, I'm going to just put this on mute and what actually happened is I've now answered that call. So what it actually tells me is the call is coming in from this number. I've been connected for 17 seconds and I'm currently connected. And then what I have the ability to do here is I see the number that it's coming in from. I also have the ability to open up the keypad if I enter any DTMF. Put the call on hold by pressing the hold button here. Now the call is on hold and now you see how long it's been on hold. I can take it off hold. I can also transfer this. The nice thing about this is I can transfer to another queue or another person, but let's say that I want to transfer to somebody in service. I'm just going to type service, and what's going to pop up is you're going to see a service queue and any users that have service as part of their tag profile. So I see service advisor, service manager, and I see the regional manager has service in there, and he's available. So I'm going to just send this to the service queue, hit transfer, and that call is now sent to another queue. 
and I'm just going to back. I also have secure pause here. So if we're doing any sort of PCI compliance or any, say, any, um, any type of credit card transaction and we wanted to mute this recording out or we wanted to make sure that none of this uh, privilege information was being shared, we can actually hit the start secure pause. Now what that means is nothing that's showing on the screen or through the recording is being actually recorded. Take that off. I have the ability to hang it up. I also have the ability here to put in my canned responses, my notes, and my wrap-up codes. So I can say, oh, this person was asking for directions, right? I can select ask for directions when it's done, and I can enter that uh, wrap-up code. So I'm done with this call. I'm going to terminate this call. And now I'm going to enter my wrap code, ask for directions, and hit done. And now it's done, and the call is over. Now I'm available for my next call. So this is sort of the basic uh, login, logout. When I'm done, or if I want to go and break, I just go break, and I'm logged out of the queue. When I want to go back in, I go on queue. And when I'm done for the day, I can go off queue, and that's it. I'm done for the day. And that's a quick overview of PureCloud Engage.